I grew up in a, a musical family. Uh, somebody gave my parents this huge upright piano that took about four big, strong men to move. I'm sure a lot of you have played on those. And, but my parents, neither one of them played the piano. I love the word curiosity. I was curious about this piano, and when I was four years old, I started playing around on the keys and figuring out melodies that I had heard on the radio or the record player or in church. I was playing by ear. So when I was about five years old, my parents decided, well, we need to give Linda some piano lessons, so we did. And the piano teacher would play the, the piece for me. Now, Linda, this is what it's going to sound like when you learn it. Well, I went home and I played it like she played it for me, but not by reading notes. <laughs> I was playing it by ear. Well, after a while she figured out that I didn't know my notes, <laughs> I was just playing, playing what she had played me. Um, but I loved practicing. And... Um, my brother Don um, is a, a year and a half younger than I am, and so we did a lot of music together. He played the trombone, and I would accompany him and our family. I had two other brothers that were very musical, played the guitar and wrote their own songs and everything. And we would sing as a family. Um, and so Don and I went to college and uh, majored in music graduated, went our separate ways, both got married, and um, I was very active musically in the church that my husband was the pastor of in Houston, Texas, and I played a lot there, and we were having dinner with some friends, and they said, Linda, why don't you make a recording? And I said, well, that would be a, I would love that, I would really love it, and this was during the days when you didn't have CDs, you had tapes. <laughs> okay, so you can relate. And they said, well, how much do you think it would cost to, to uh, do a recording? And I just threw out $6,000. I really didn't know. And, and, and they said, well, you have it. We want you to record. And that was the first recording, and we did it on tape. Now, I'm very pleased to tell you that my brother, Don Marsh, who orchestrated all of these arrangements and all of my CDs is here tonight. And I'd like Don to come up and you you'd meet him. Would Don, would you come up, please? So I'm Don, I'm at the point where I have this tape in my hand that you and I have done and do you remember what you did with that? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Something good, I hope. Yes. Yes, it's on. Okay. Well, you were working um, with Brentwood Recording. Oh, yes. Okay. And you... So, uh, we recorded with orchestras, including uh, going to London and recording with the London Symphony. But how did you convince the president of Brentwood Records that this is something he should do? Well, I played him a tape that you had made before, and uh, he was quite impressed with it, and uh, I thought your arrangements was to, were original and worthy of being recorded on a label. <laughs> well, great. Is that a good answer? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, like um, you already know, um, I was 49 when I signed my first contract, and in today's world, that is pretty old to be starting a career especially in the music business. And then uh, we were going to record our seventh album, Moments with the Savior, and something happened in Nashville. Well, uh, there was a union strike, and so uh, even though we were used to, you know, paying union uh, rates and everything, just they shut the town down and we couldn't record. Right, so where'd we go? Well, if you couldn't record in Nashville, where would you want to record? <laughs> I don't know. Take a guess. London. So we went to London, and, um, you know, 
Uh, the London Symphony did not invite us over. Uh, we hired them. And uh, it's amazing what people do if you pay them. <laughs> the wonderful thing is that they were extremely gracious, not only outstanding musicians, but really, really gracious. And, uh, you know, who, who's Linda McKechnie? Who's Don Marsh? You know, but they were very, very um, gracious and... Uh, that was Moments with the Savior, and um, we've, I've played a couple of things from that tonight, and will. So, uh, let's see, what was going to, oh, I know. I want to know, I want you to tell them what you're doing now. Okay, well, uh, I uh, teach at Liberty University, so we, my wife, Lori, and I drove over this afternoon. Talk louder. And, um, pardon? Talk louder. Louder. Oh, pardon me. You'd think I never used a mic before. Uh, so... Uh, I am able to teach young people who are budding musicians and aspire to uh, arrange, compose, and conduct and teach them everything I know. That takes about two weeks, and then I fake it from then on. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're very, very fortunate to have you, and um, I love you very much, and thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you.